so in this video we will study about the covalent bonding and in case of covalent bonding covalent bond form only when non metals and non metal atoms combine and how they form the covalent bond in covalent bonds atoms share the electron so like uh, here in this picture they show that there are two nuclei of the two atom and they are sharing the one electron between each other so but there are uh, three electrostatic interactions are involved in this kind of bonding number one is attraction between the electron and nuclei so attraction between the electron and nuclei these line shows la, la outer side and repulsion between the electron and repulsion between the two electrons and the repulsion between the nuclei and the repulsion between the two nuclei so these are the three forces apply from in a covalent bond and this picture shows that uh, the electron density reside in between the two nuclei in covalent bond so let's take an example so that we can understand better so lewis structure is used to demonstrate the covalent bond and uh, so covalent bond in covalent bond two atoms basically share the electron to make covalent bond and can be demonstrated by lewis structure so we start trying to give each atom the same number of electron as the nearest noble gas by the sharing the electron so this is important how many electron we need to share between two atom so it depend on the and it is important that each atom share the same number of electron to get the nearest noble gas electron configuration so the simplest example are for hydrogen and chlorine is shown here so hydrogen have atom has one electron each so they share one electron to each and then they get the helium electronic configuration so when we will count the total electron for this hydrogen so, uh, so we will count like this one and the line this line shows that there are two electrons are involved in this line and this line is called single bond one bond so two electrons will be counted for this hydrogen and the two electrons will be counted for this hydrogen so both electron both hydrogen have two electrons in case of chlorine so chlorine we write the seven dots like uh, cl 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and these seven are the valence electron and for the another chlorine atom the same thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 electron and then what happen by when they share the each electron to e for each chlorine their total electron valence electron become 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 for this chlorine and for this chlorine 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i have to count like this one so they get the valence cell 8 electron which is the nearest noble gas uh, electron configuration so this is the way to uh, they maintain the octet octet means 8 uh, electron so hydrogen is exception because it has only one electron in the covalent bonding so let's so uh, so this and this slide shows the same thing that in covalent bonding hydrogen have one electron each when it share so you have to count like this one and uh, these two electrons are represented by a single bond like this single line 
So single bond is characterized by the sharing of two electrons like that. <coughs> And then we will study about the types of covalent bond. What, how many types of covalent bonds are there? So there are two types of mainly covalent bond: non-polar covalent bond and polar covalent bond. So non, what are the non-polar? Electrons are shared equally between the two atoms. So you can see these are the diatomic molecules, and they have the same elements same atom h2 n2 o2 f2 and cl2 so if the two atoms are the same electrons are shared equally between the two atoms if the two atoms are are in the same type then they form a non polar covalent bond there is no polarity but uh, if they are not the same if there is two different types of uh, atoms are there so electrons are shared unequally between the two atoms so in case of this is an example of hcl so hydrogen and chlorine so hydrogen have one electron and chlorine have seven electron so i will the present like this one so chlorine have tendency to pull the electron towards itself more than the hydrogen and it becomes slightly negative charge and hydrogen gets slightly positive charge this is partial positive partial negative but the number of electron when we will count in the sharing one for hydrogen there will be remain two and for chlorine they will be remain Eight. Similarly, for HF hydrogen fluoride, fluorine have tendency to pull the electron toward itself. So this is red area is showing that the they, they have more electron towards fluorine compared to hydrogen. So these type of bonds called the polar bond because there is a polarity, plus and minus. And in case of hydrogen. there is no polarity both hydrogen have same number of electrons same distance of electron no hydrogen is pulling towards themselves or itself and similarly nitrogen nitrogen bond is also same nitrogen nitrogen bond make three bond chlorine chlorine is also same they are non polar but uh, here so basically if there are same type of uh, elements are there and electrons are shared equally between the two atoms then they form a non polar covalent bond but if there are two different types of elements and they are sh sharing electron unequally between the two atoms then the bond is called polar bond polar covalent bond so why this happen the polarity how this polarity generate this is because of the electronegativity this is the new term which uh, we have to understand so what is the electronegativity the ability of an atom in a molecule to attract its cell electron to itself so that is the electronegativity electronegativity means the ability of to pull the electron toward itself so for an example hcl so chlorine have more electronegative negativity so it pull the electron from the hydrogen toward itself and it got partial negative charge and hydrogen got partial positive charge so the vector of polarity is goes like this one negative positive and the bond between the hcl is polar bond polar covalent bond so when the two atoms are identical the electron are shared equally and they form a non polar covalent bond but when the two atoms are different the atoms are shared unequally and they form the polar bond so this is the 
there are the these are the two types of uh, polar polar bonds and uh, let's see what is the trend of uh, electronegativity in the periodic table so electronegativity the trend in the electronegativity is increases from left to right in the period and it increases from bottom to up or decreases you can say decreases from top to bottom in the group and the fluorine is the most electronegative element this is the in the whole periodic table and they have maximum value is number four four is the maximum number of electronegativity and probably this uh, cesium have 0.7 so this is the least so electronegativity increases from left to right and bottom to up so these are the electronegativity um, pattern and let's see one example for the uh, if there are which of the following type of the most polar bond covalent bond is there if we have to decide the which one is the most polar covalent bond so you can see this is so uh, sodium chloride this is metal and non-metal this is an ionic compound this is an ionic compound sodium chloride is an ionic compound so this does not come in this series second is ff fluorine fluorine is a non-polar because the two atoms are same and they are pulling the electrons toward themselves equally so they will form non-polar now there are only two types of bonds are there sulfur and fluorine and phosphorus and fluorine so you can see the electronegativity in the sulfur and uh, of phosphorus where are they so you can see in the periodic table sulfur is on the seventh and the phosphorus is here so the difference between the sulfur and fluorine and phosphorus and fluorine sulfur has electronegativity 2.5 and 4 so 2.5 and 4 and you can see the phosphorus has 2.1 so 2.1 and 4 so which one is the which one of the following is the most polar covalent bond so they are not asking most polar ionic bond they are asking only polar covalent bond so when you will subtract these two value so phosphorus and fluorine difference is more compared to 1.5 will be here and uh, this will be 1.9 so this is more polar bond so this is the way we decide uh, based on the polarity um, or electronegativity what is the difference between the two, um, two atoms in of the electronegativity and based on that we decide which one is the polar and non uh, less polar or more polar so this was about the types of uh, covalent bond and uh, how they share the electrons and in the next video we will study about the more detail about the covalent bonding and the Lewis structure how to make their Lewis structure